The survival and growth of microorganisms depend on available and favorable growth environments. For the successful cultivation of a given microorganism, it is necessary to understand its nutritional requirements and then supply the essential nutrients in the proper form and proportion in a culture medium. Preparations containing the needed substances are called culture media. The chemical compounds in a culture medium can be grouped as nitrogen sources, carbon sources, energy sources, minerals, and growth factors. Media are classified according to composition, consistency, and selectivity. Media classification according to composition can either be empirical or natural, and synthetic or defined. On the basis of consistency, media are classified as liquid, solid, and semi-solid. And finally, according to selectivity. Media are categorized as general or non-selective, enrichment or selective, and differential. Liquid media, such as nutrient broths, can be used to propagate large numbers of microorganisms in fermentation studies and various biochemical tests. Semi-solid media can be used in determining bacterial motility and in promoting anaerobic growth. Solid media in petri plates are used first for the surface growth of microorganisms in order to observe colony appearance, second for isolation of microorganisms into pure culture, and third for storage of pure cultures. In addition, different biochemical tests for pure cultures of microorganisms can be carried out using solid media in petri plates. Sterilization is required to render a medium or material free of all forms of life. The most useful approach is autoclaving, in which the items are sterilized by exposure to steam at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 psi of pressure for 15 minutes. Modern autoclaves are designed to ensure that all of the air has been expelled and only steam is present in the autoclave chamber. First, calculate the total amount of medium needed. Instructions can usually be found in the bottle of the medium being prepared. For reference, approximately 15 to 20 ml of dissolved powder is required to make one plate of culture medium. In the preparation of nutrient agar, for example, 28 grams of powder is required for every 1,000 ml of distilled water. If 5 plates are to be prepared, then approximately 100 ml of the medium is needed. To make this, dissolve about 2.8 grams powdered medium in 100 ml of distilled water. Next, we are going to weigh the powdered medium. In most laboratories, we usually use a weighing box made of light material like plastic. If none is available, cut out a piece of wax paper, weighing paper, or aluminum foil large enough to hold the amount of powdered medium needed. When transferring the powdered medium into a container for weighing, use a dry spatula. Transfer just enough as you have computed. Avoid unnecessary exposure of the medium to the atmosphere because it is hygroscopic in nature. Then carefully transfer this weighed powder into the flask. Wash off any sticking powder with distilled water into the flask using a wash bottle. Now add the required volume of distilled water while swirling the flask or bottle. Mix after each addition. Since we will be making agar plates, there is no need to melt the agar using a microwave. Seal the flasks with cotton plugs and aluminum foil. Place this in an autoclavable plastic bag and sterilize using the autoclave. At this point, 
We may now include Petri plates which have been cleaned, wrapped, and placed in an autoclavable plastic bag to be sterilized together with a prepared medium. After sterilization, make sure to leave media to cool to about 48 to 50 degrees Celsius. This is for you to properly handle the flask and to minimize the amount of steam condensation on the Petri plate lids after the agar has been poured. Now, aseptically pour the sterile medium into the Petri plates. When pouring agar into the plates, do not fill them up to the brim. Instead, only fill about one-third of the height of the Petri plate. While pouring, gently tilt from side to side or put the plate down and move it in a back and forth, right and left direction. This is for you to be able to distribute the agar uniformly over the bottom. But be careful not to let the medium come into contact with the cover. Now, we wait. We allow the medium to solidify. After this, invert the plates to prevent condensing moisture from accumulating on the agar surface. All plates should be stored and incubated for at least 24 hours to ensure sterility before using. As before, we have to calculate the total amount of medium needed. So in doing that, we have to decide how many slants and how much broth will be used. Then we weigh. In doing this, again, we take a weighing container or weighing box, or we can cut out a piece of aluminum foil or wax paper large enough to hold the amount of powdered medium that we need. We then transfer this weight powdered medium using a dry spatula into this container. Again, avoid unnecessary exposure of the medium to the atmosphere because it is hygroscopic in nature. Carefully transfer this weighed powder into the flask and wash off any sticking powder with distilled water using a wash bottle into the flask. Now add the required volume of distilled water while swirling the flask or bottle. Unlike the first procedure, we have to melt the agar in a microwave oven. This is to ensure that the powdered medium is mixed evenly in a solution. For making slants, dispense about 8 ml melted agar per test tube using a 10 ml pipette or a glass syringe and place the cotton plug. For making broth, dispense around 8 ml of the melted medium into the tubes. We then put test tubes together using a beaker and cover this with aluminum foil. This is then placed in autoclavable plastic so as to protect cotton plugs from getting wet, which may subsequently cause contamination. After such, make sure that the cultural media is sterilized right away. For agar slants, lay sterile test tubes containing the agar medium across the slanting board and allow them to solidify. This may be done out of the hood. Let the sterile broth tubes cool completely. Refrigerate the sterile media for future use.